All right, so here's what we're making today. It's a bowl. We use these for cereal bowls around the house. They're also, you know, they're a ramekin or, you know, uh, whatever you want to do with them. But it's got a kind of a two-tone glaze on there. These are uh, very easy to make. Uh, you can tell that because I actually made it. So uh, anyway, let's get started and see if we can make some of these. I haven't wedged this clay, so I'm going to wedge it on the wheel. Alright, so this is going to be six inches in diameter at the end, so I'm going to get it out kind of close to that. It's probably a little more than what I want. We'll start opening it up. I think my bottom's still way too thick. Yeah. Let me get it down some more. We'll smooth that out a little bit. Just using a wooden rib. Okay, now we'll pull this side up. A little bit more. It's about right. Now I'm just going to take my wooden rib, put it on the side here, and use it to to trim up this edge. This side. I'm just kind of pushing it lightly against that rib, just very lightly against it. Just to straighten that side. Okay. Shammy to the edge here. And then cut it off. This was two pounds of stoneware clay. And there we have it. Okay, I'm going to get these bowls trimmed. And I can't tap center to save my life, so I use these little concentric rings on this. This is just a piece of foam that's been glued to a bat to hold it. That allows me to get it pretty centered. I'm just going to get this loose stuff off the bottom. Alright, put a nice little bevel on the side. And 
to make the bottom nice and smooth. Just using a credit card here. Just kind of burnish it until it gets smooth. Yeah. And a little bit of a soft rubber one on the side here. That's it. All right, so here it is finished out of the kiln, and uh, I did—I forgot to film uh, how I put the glaze on. But it's basically, you know, you dip a black glaze on there, and then this is a green, uh, uh, rutile green overglaze, and my thumb went there, and my other three, four fingers there, and you just dip it straight down up to that line. And then that leaves that little pattern on the sides. But anyway, that's it finished. They turned out uh, pretty well. I'm real happy with them. Thank you for watching.